Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I had been getting so many comments and messages on how I managed to do so many work at the same time, preparing so many dishes on a single day, how I work with passion and love, how I stay calm all time and many such. So thought of sharing few tips or few points that I follow or I take care to keep myself happy or what keeps me happy. Now everyone's lifestyle is different. There are women or mothers who work outside home and I duly respect them because for me that's pretty impossible. Stress is something that put down our happiness. When we do a work with pressure, we get frustrated and we don't see the happiness around us. First and foremost, we need to be thankful and grateful for the life we have. There would be someone who loved to have your way of life. We live in a rented apartment in Saudi Arabia and having said that if you live in Saudi Arabia you would definitely know about STC they have an offer going on for Sawa Sims that you can get it at 20% discount earlier it was 30 Saudi rial now it's 25 Saudi rial and what more they deliver the sim to your location for free the sim will have an initial credit of 25 Saudi rial and free 3 GB internet all you need to do is just open or download my STC app Press join STC button, order new SIM, click prepaid and Sava 25. The last you can do is visit any STC store. Be it rented or owned, a home is where a heart is. I think anyone would love to be in a clean place and a clean home is a happy me. But when we have our partner or kids, it's not easy to clean alone, so we share the work. I make my kids clean their room. Children are usually influenced by their surroundings, so it's important to start teaching them and creating good habits at a young age. Good or bad, it's difficult to break later, so stick on to the good ones. This actually comes parallel to a clean home. Clean home doesn't just mean cleaning floors. You need to have an organized home to give an overall clean look. For me, folding gives relaxation, especially the bed sheets and pillow covers. I do this when I like to take a break and relax. I know it might sound a bit weird, but rearranging and folding does give me happiness. I don't do this every week when it's completely a mess. I leave everything away and spend time on this. I get to see a clean space well organized. I love fitted sheets because it's easy to spread and looks neat on the bed. But folding was not that easy earlier and then learned it from tutorials.
My husband helps in the laundry sometimes and I don't think he has got the patience to fold this way. Organizing my wardrobe is another area and having said that, it's always good to be well dressed, be it at home or while going out. I love to wear beautiful dress even while at home. When you see yourself in mirror, you feel beautiful. And this applies to my kids as well. I want them to be well dressed even at home. And at the same time, it should be comfortable. I wear a baya while going out. So most of the time when I buy a dress, it would be for wearing from home. You get tops and kurtis at less price. Need not be expensive always. Try to keep yourself pretty and neat all time. Coffee time is my favorite. I love to have late night coffee on stressful days. It's not coffee that I always drink late night. It even be any herbal tea. It all depends on my mood, what I love to have at that moment. On some days, it's me and my husband. We have a coffee or tea time late night. Even editing is relaxing for me. I grab a cup of tea or coffee, some snacks and it's me time. Sometimes sitting alone give me a breeze of stress-free mind. I either edit or simply sit. I listen to calm music when I do any stressful works, be it cleaning, house chores or any. Cooking is not my biggest passion, but sometimes it does give a relaxation. You may always eat healthy, but your body gives you that unhealthy craving sometimes. And it's okay to give yourself a treat once in a while. In fact, this tip was suggested by my very dear friend Jinu, who I always share my thoughts and feelings. I have spoken about her in many videos on the tips she used to share with me. She has recently started an Instagram page. You may check out to show some love. Link is provided in the description box. Friends do have a major role in your life. And friends may be from family or like family. 
they are sometimes the only shoulder to lean upon when you are in depression when you give yourself a treat you become someone special for you the first thing i learned after overcoming depression is to love myself believe in what you do do what you love to do treating yourself needn't be a spread on the table it just need to be a comfort food and mine is always a masala maggi with some sausages If you have been following me for a while, you would know by this time how much I love to set the table before meals. And I have read this, food looks delicious when the table is beautifully set. It's true, and I love when the family sits together for a meal. I hate sitting in front of TV while having food. Now few of you wanted to see my placemat collection and crockery collection not going into everything let me show you my favorites I had shown few i guess in my home makeover video most of my servers are of ceramic material a little bit heavy but looks really pretty when served and displayed on the table Not all I have shown on videos. I love this. It's not a set. I collected a few and it's a print that made me buy it. Now it's quite rare that I get them at original price. I wait for offers and then check out the best. I have a bad habit of collecting coffee mugs or cups. I get too attracted to those. Most probably I buy a pair. My kids don't drink coffee or tea and they love their mug with the first letter of their names on it. So it's just for me and my husband. Whichever shop I visit, I go to the lifestyle section. It's either to pick up the mugs or just to see the latest in collection. I have four but as I said these are my favorites among them. These are place mats that I love to place on special occasions or when I prepare special menu be it for breakfast, lunch or dinner or even for snacks. Sometimes gadgets become a useless in our life. We simply scroll up and down. For me, reading is relaxing. Honestly speaking, I wasn't that fluent or well versed in speaking English. All that got better when I started reading. I got the habit of reading after my 12th grade and before joining college. I think I had a month time to do nothing but just wait for the day to fly to Kerala. 
there were lots of magazines lying around i still remember the first time i read was a short story in a weekly magazine when i was in qatar and that was in young times it was just a page and i felt good reading that then i looked out for other books and started reading all what i could i even forced my mom to buy a malayal magazine vanita which had short stories too so i used to read and enjoy reading now that i don't get enough time but i still do it helps in improving my vocabulary so these are some facts on how i stay happy i do have mood swings and i think it's okay to have mood swings it's okay to be grumpy on some days it's okay to get angry it's okay to cry and it's okay to laugh out loud so don't control your emotions let it be and it's okay to let it be the way it is stay happy always do flush out the negatives in your life and think only the positive ones hope you enjoyed watching this video see you with another one until then take care bye bye